Hey, what's up guys? It's Failures here from Obey Knobs, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the giant zombie spawn egg uh, mod, I guess is what you'd call it. Um, so, it's just an HXD mod. It's very simple. You basically just change uh, the value of an item. Um, you've got to change two values of it. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Very easy. Um, so, uh, first thing you're going to need... Uh, you're going to need a folder on your desktop with uh, two things in it, one being command prompt and the other being the minecraft.exe, uh, it's a decompressor. So to get the CMD, you just go here, type in the CMD, and then uh, you drag this over into the folder, that should go nicely. Then you just kind of get minecraft.exe in here, uh, I'll put a download link in the description I guess, yeah, I think that'll be nice, yeah, I think you guys will enjoy that. Alright, um, so that that's the first thing you need. Uh, now, what I just showed in the uh, on the Xbox uh, when I was just recording uh, was how to uh, what you need to do in order to uh, get ready for it to prep. I would assume uh, it'd be a good word for that. So um, you're going to need one thing in your inventory you're willing to change to the giant zombie spawn egg. So I just had my map, so I just took my map and put it down in my hot bar. I thought you guys would be able to. Uh, Hell, that, that was what I was going to mod. Maybe not. I don't know. So, uh, first thing you're going to do is get your save off of your uh, device and onto your computer. So, I'll do that while I'm still babbling on. Um, so, yeah, after you have the one thing in your inventory that you're going to uh, mod, all you have to do is uh, save the game and move to your computer and then uh, d just do what I just did. Um, get your save uh, in a rehash from designer. He's modding them, obviously. Uh, there's also Horizon, which is a pretty good. I think I'll put the download link for Horizon in. Um, Alright, and so you go to File Contents. Uh, when you're here, go ahead and extract that file to the folder you made with CMD and Minecraft.exe. Alright, that's all good and swell. Minimize Mario. Um, so now you have uh, these three files in here. Um, the reason I put CMD in here, you don't really need to, it just, it, it makes it a lot easier, because it already has all the extensions, I guess, is what you'd call them, all the way, you, you know, it's just, it's good, it's in a good position here, I like it. So, uh, when you're here, and you open CMD up from that folder, uh, what you're going to do is type in this. Um, what I just typed was minecraft.exe minus d save game dot dat well, yeah save game dot dat dot decompressed um, as you can see here um, then go ahead and hit enter there you go um, you can minimize that uh, then you have this decompress thing in your folder go ahead and open that up in hxd it's kind of what you needed to do you need to decompress it in order to see the file correctly and then you're going to uh, go to search, find, and then you're going to type in inventory. Alright. And if you only have one thing in your inventory, like I only had one map, which makes it very simple. Um, the ID for map is 0166, as you can see here. 0166, alright. Now, uh, I've taken the liberty of, of writing down all the uh, damages for spawnings. Uh, that's what changes it to make it spawn something so the uh, generic ID for a spawn egg a generic spawn egg would be 0170 and so you're gonna go ahead and right after ID put 0170 like so and this is on the item you want I suggest only having one item in your inventory unless you are a little better a little bit better at this and know how to uh, find the item you want which isn't very difficult so uh, you're going to, uh, after you have uh, that down, you're going to go to damages, just damage, not plural, alright, go right after damage, now there's two bytes after damage, they should both be zero, zero, unless uh, you're using a different item like uh, birch, planks, uh, what damage is, is it, it, I think it makes the item a little bit more specified, specified, um, I can't say that correctly, anyway, it changes what type of that kind of item it is. Uh, a good example would be wool. 
So if I just put the ID for wool here, I don't actually know what it is, but if I put the ID for wool there, um, whatever I change the damage to, I'd have to change the damage to uh, something to change the color. So I don't really know. The damage would probably be something along the lines of like 30 or something for a uh, for it for wool. I don't I don't know. I don't mess around with wool, and so you change that to change the color. Uh, it would also it, it same thing with dyes. Don't know what that is. Uh, same thing with like dyes and stuff anything that has multiple versions, but it's the same item sort of Like different colored stairs anyway. All right. All right. That's babbing on there. Um, so anyway, uh, and that applies to the spawn egg because uh, you, you have the spawn egg, but this is just a generic spawn egg You're gonna need to change the damage of it to change what it spawns and I have I took the liberty of making this obviously and so uh I have all the damages here that you'd put for whatever you want to spawn, and here at the end is giant zombie, which is 0035, and so we can go ahead and put in for the damage 0035, like so, and then you have, uh, yeah, a zombie spawn egg, giant zombie spawn egg, and then you're going to go ahead and change the count to FF, I'll have a download link for the spawn list, for this ID list in the, uh, description if any of you care for it um all right and so after you have all that done go ahead and hit save and you're done with hxd it's really simple to do that go to cmd and go ahead and type this in damn comma Alright, so you're going to go ahead and type minecraft.exe minus c this time, save game .dat decompressed, and then save game .dat, going to do this, and then you got to wait a second until you can type again, and uh, yeah, now you can close out of it. Alright, so now the only file you need is save game .dat. don't open it, <laughs> I almost opened it there, didn't double click down, alright. So you can go ahead and close out of that folder, open up Modio where you extracted the same from, the save from. Uh, right click on save game .dat and hit replace file then replace it with the file save game .dat from uh, the folder like so then go to general file info save to device and then save it to your profile that you extracted it from all right takes a little bit of time I guess all right, well, um, so you can go ahead and close out of that now, uh, and you're done. So uh, I'll go ahead and see on the Xbox for the results.